Hello, people. God bless you. Long time. Ah, uh, sorry for the long um absence. Uh, for 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 quite a long time now, I've not been able to upload um some videos. The Bini, my 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 Edo Bini channel. I'm so sorry. I think we we starting now this time. Uh, I want to thank God for your lives. We are still here. Upon all the pandemic, what was happening all over the world, God has saw us through to this moment to God be that glory. If you are doing a new zomo, why are we both wow? We are bearing a guy, okay? We are here, we are both we are above one, we are kada, we are low boy, no, no, gay, no, a guy. My way to come and name them, my way to be said, then there now. My dad, baby, rain, my dad, but you swear a a school, a doing my my moe. Why, you know, pay you soon, and I have my name on that I wear. Who day morning, my beer, amen. I would make a bow away when I spend my new year more by your worry. I dear, we see. Mammy came, my aunt, my aunt, I do not make a key. Can you not day? Name me, wa. Eh, so anyway, and I'm again, ye so any, Nima in a moon, not ye moe. In a moon, name when I have her. If you may say, okay, come on, mommy, why and you demand what does it mean? I mean, so is it in the eh? Why I can so and I'm a house one in none in you so and I'm also from the A alphabet. A alphabet no cow. A in you so now ye a swing. Eh, my ya is so I'll give it now. Why are we so? You always speak English. I'll be well. Uh, the first name here is Aibweku. And you know, it's a name. Now, we know, now we know, Aibweku, the meaning is divine justice. In Managbo, people can, maybe, in the, you know, people can be biased. But God is not biased. Aibweku is a name. When you see anybody called Aibweku, you know, the meaning of the name is divine justice. And you know, it's a unisex name. It can be given to both me and female children. Thank you. The second name is Abiemese. For short, you call them Abies. It's a feminine name. The meaning is I am well bred. Abiemese. If you see anybody, some people for short, they'll say AB, AB. But is the meaning, the full meaning or the full pronunciation is Abiemese. Abies, which means I am well bred. Then we have Abusoma. This one is a is a masculine name. It's a name given to male children. The, the, the meaning is group of multitude. Group of multitude. Abu for short Abu, but the full pronunciation is Abusoma. Group of multitude. Abusoma. Boom, boom, I mean plenty group of multitude. Thank you. We also have Abia You Are. The first one, the, the other one we saw was Abia Mese. Well, but this one is Abia You Are. It's also, it's, this one is a feminine name, Abia You Are. Born into prosperity. Because one of my teachers once taught me what is in the name. I want to tell us today that the name you give to your children. Have a way of influencing the children, your children. So it's better to give your children positive names. Okay? I bear you are, which means born into prosperity. Thank you. It's a feminine name. Adaze is the next name here. A noble person. It's, it's, it's most, the name is masculine. You give it to male children. Adaze. Somebody that is very noble, somebody that is truthful, somebody that is, is somebody that you, you, you have to know in society, a noble person. You can see the picture here. The picture there is uh that of the of His Royal Highness, the Oba of Bini. He's a noble person, noble birth, noble origin. Adaze. Adanegbe is the next name. Adanegbe means looking out for one another. You can give it to both me. And for my children, it's a unisex name. Adanegbe. You look out for one another. I got the the English people will say, I got your back and you got my back. You got your back, I got your back. So 
looking out for one another are done like like we help one another in the society are done be what affect one affect the other so this other neck bay you can you can give it to a male child and also female child remember we are dealing with names that start with the alphabet a thank you are they the center of life or center of the universe Ade Sagmo is a masculine name. Ade Sagmo. There's a village, uh, I think it's in the Wode, called Ade Sagmo, before you go to Obadan, Obadan village. I think Ade Sagmo village is close, is part of Obadan village. I don't know. If you're a Bini, you should know what I'm talking about. So it's a name, Ade Sagmo, the center of the whole universe. Something. So that this name can be given to somebody that is. Um, uh, that is, is, you know, it's a special name. The center of the universe are this album. It's a muscular name. Then we have Adesua. This one is feminine. It's the center of prosperity. We, ho we have Abiyamese. We have Abiyuwa. Now we have Adesua. The center of prosperity. Okay. It's, um, you know, it's, it's prosperity name. That's what I said. Say, what is in the name? The name you give to your children have it can be it can have positive impact on your children. We we the beneath we believe in that. We don't just give the we are not some you know for some part of the world they just give any name like they give bush, they give cat, they give rat, they give wood. We don't give we, we, the adults. We don't give name. We give name with meaning with deep meanings. Thank you. Ah, uh, adesusu. That's the next name. The next name here is Adesu. Is is a is a masculine name. These are names that you can also give to your male child. Adesu is a handsome young man. Handsome young man. Adesu. Adolo, another masculine name. He's a peacemaker. Here we have the picture of um, the Nollywood star. Peacemaker is Adolo. We have Chief Adolo or Badolo, you know, there are streets in Bini that is, the, the, street, the street name is Adolo, Adolo College, Adolo Street, Adolo. But the meaning of the name is the peacemaker. When, when, when you have a, 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 I remember one old man that I used to know, you know, this old man was, um, you know, this, this man before he, you know, he has a lot of children. They all the children, they were all females. Then uh, the thing is the first wife at the age of you know I can't remember the age now had a son because they called the son Adolo because there was a conflict in the home because the man doesn't have they didn't have have a male child but when this child comes he calls this child Adolo you know we, it's all over the world not not only where I came from when they 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 put too much value in male children so the man was thinking of can I let me just you know. Send all this my wife's away. I think he has two wives. They were all giving him guests. I married another one that will give me a male child. But God will have it. The, the, the first wife had a male. I called him child Adolo. He restored peace to the home. So this name means peacemaker. Thank you. The next one is Akugwehia. Aku Gwegya is a is a feminine name. Aku Gwegya. The meaning is marry and ignore your enemy. Marry and ignore your enemy. Remember the Bible says, if possible, live peacefully with all men. No matter what people do to you, try and forgive and forget and and kugwegya. You know, forget about everything. Love, show love to, to your agent if there's anyone. But Christian, we're not supposed to have a year. So we should love everybody as yourself. You understand? So, and when you do that, the Bible says, when you do that, when you love them, the enemy, you love loving them, you give giving them all your best. He said, it's like you're heaping a coal of fire upon your head. That's what the Bible says. Don't mean that he's saying it. So, we have a name like that in Bini. Don't, don't, don't let people know that, oh, he's your enemy or she's your enemy. When you see him or her in the morning, greet her and bless her with love. Share the love of God with him. When you do that, God will bless you. Even if they, they are planning anything against you, it will not. It will be a fire to put me around on them. So, don't ever have a Don't ever have enemy. Okay? 
Say, Mary, I ignore your enemy. Mary, if you are doing anything, you're doing a bad day, your child is getting married, anything, invite them. I could go here. Okay, thank you. It's a feminine name. The next one is Agbonavae. The meaning is the world you were born into. Agbonavae, Aani. You know, you understand? That's the full, I just, full process. Agbonavae, that's where the name ends. But Agbonavae, Aani. The world you are born in, you, the world you were born into, that is the world you will dwell. Maybe before you were born, maybe the you know, our forefathers, they didn't have clothes to wear, they didn't have jeans to put on, they didn't have a, a wig, bone straight, so something like that to put on their hair. They make their hair the natural way, maybe with thread, belebe. Yeah, let me use that, <laughs> belebe to make their hair. That was then, that was their album, that was then. But now, we came, even before, when I was growing up, there was no wig. We go to the salon, we make our hair, we pair me, or we do, you know, jerry coils. You just go to the salon. Then now, that is no longer in vain, in vogue. We, you just go now, you buy wig bone, buy wig, bone straight, bone strong, or whatever. That is something like that is Agbonavai. During the era of my, my forefathers, my parents, there was no jeans. We don't put on jeans, just tie up you, you know. They made themselves presentable in that way. They were beautiful, naturally beautiful. There was no... Uh, what is it called now? Makeover, yeah. There was nothing like makeover. You don't want to go to the party, they just dress like that. Maybe put on their white powder, they are beautiful, they tie their gaily, they go and do their festival, they go and do their party. But now, we go to a party, there is a the makeup artist on the corner. You go, you go to you go there, you pay them, they 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 turn you, make you over. There is the gaily people that tie the gaily, they're on the other side, you give the money, they tie your gaily, then you, you know. That is this is what I understand by Agbonavai Ani. Yeah, forefathers, there was no car. There was no car. Whenever they want to go, they trek. They walk. Then later there was buses, you know. So the world is revolving, it's changing, it's changing, it's changing. So the way you say the word, that's how you, you dwell in it. That's meaning of Agbonavai Ani or Agbonavai. The world you were born into. Okay? When you know those days. Well, our mother just cook and say, oh, food, let's come and eat the food is ready. We said, we said, the table, everybody will eat. But now, in some homes, they say, I don't want to eat this. I want to eat this. That is like Bonavai. You know, you don't have choices. Oh, I don't want to eat this. I want to eat this. You see, some people, they, 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 they cook different, different, like three, four, five of, uh, kind of food in, at one sitting. But when we are growing up, is if, if today is, if today is Sunday, one will eat everybody, that is rice. But I say no, I don't want to eat rice. I want to eat spaghetti. I want to eat. I want to plant. I want plant. I want this. That's agbonavai ani, ani. Right now, sixteen years old child will have a car and be driving. Huh? A matter. Sixteen years old, eighteen, twenty. You know, my kids. I'm, how old are they? They all they are driving cars. I can't remember when. How old was I when I started? When I had my car, I started driving. That's agbonavai ani. Things are changing now. It's computer world. When I was in school. Exam is coming. There's there no light. Ne maybe Nepal has taken light. We can use uh, maybe but you can, can go buy candle or the lamp. You know those uh, kerosene light that we that we have in, in Nigeria. We read with that. But now twenty four seven there's light. There's internet. You want to do research? You go to Bible. Um, sorry, go to the library and start looking for a book. Now you just take your your even on the phone, on your phone you go go whatever you want. You see it. Yeah, it's, life is so easy. That's like, but now I did. That's the life we are, we, we are, our children are born into. I always say my children, say, you guys are very, very lucky. But now, when we are growing, we don't have this. So you don't have any reason not to be smart, not to be straight A student in school because you have everything at your disposal. So this name, Abunawai, I like it so much. It's a feminine name. The world you were born into. The next one here is Agbondimi. Life is a mystery. Agbondimi be. Agbondimi is also a masculine name. Agbondimi say life is a mystery. Yes. The life is a mystery. Everybody will, will attest to that, that life is really, really, really a mystery. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Life is a mystery. You were born today. You don't know what you're going to become when you are, when you, when you are big. It's only God that knows. So that's why we have to hold God tight. It's only God that knows. 
life is a mystery. Agbon or dimi be. Okay. And the next one here is a unisex name. Is Agbon Gya said de. Mystery world don't truncate human life. Yes. Agbon Gya said de. It's a popular name. Unisex. People, you be simple say, what is it? Agbons, Agbons. Because what is the full meaning? Agbon Gya said de. Said, mystery world don't truncate human life. When 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 a, a, a woman gives birth to a child, her prayer is that this my child will grow to old age. It will maybe it will grow and grow and grow and grow and grow, live long more than the parents. But along the line, something might happen. So the the, the last name we saw was Agbon. Agbon Dimi. This one is Agbon Gyasede. So those two names they are, they, they 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 are close. So mystery world don't truncate human life. Anything can happen on the way. So we just pray that God will give us life, give us good health to live to um, at least a hundred years. Amen. The next one is also a masculine name. Agbonifo. Endless world. It never ends. It never ends. The world never ends. Agbonifo. Agbonifo. People will say Agbonifo. But the correct pronunciation as a Bini person is Agmo. Agmo info. The world never ends. At least um, from my father's side, from, from, from what I can remember, my father's side, my from my father uh, lineage, I think I am the not the one that was gone before I was born. I think I am the first, second, third. I think I'm the third, third generation of those family. Okay? Then from my mother's side, I am the um, my mother's side. I am uh, one, two, I'm the fourth generation. Okay. Then my mother can count back to to like maybe fourth or fifth generation that she knows why she was alive. So my my daddy took her count back to the fourth generation. Then my children took and start counting. So you see, then from there, from there we start counting, counting generations. So it never end. I'm going for. You know, then you know the world. The world is so big and so so mysterious. It never ends. I'm going for and all over the world. I have a said that uh, before before she she married, she wanted to tour the whole world. She's traveling. She likes traveling. Now she's she's doing traveling also because she wants to see her everywhere. So she's touring the whole world. She want she want to see every see this this this. this. It never ends. My children children will start counting. I, okay, so to, to what generation now? So it never ends like that. Agbonifo is a uh, and is a is, is a feminine name and it's it's more 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 deeper than that. So that's why you should have you should try to live good today. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Agbon Lahore. This one is like pleading, pleading with the world. You see, we have we have a uh, a uh, Agbon Yasede. You are, you are you are consciously pleading with the Lord. You say word, mystery word don't truncate my life. Uh, what was the other one that we saw? You know, all the agbon agbon agbon. You pleading, you pleading with the, this one means agbon laho. Pleading with the word to to it's, it's a muscular name to make everything good for you because it's not every everybody that laugh with you that is your friend. Anything can happen on the way, but God has a final say. Amen. Agbon Laho, Agbon Laho. If you ever Laho, you are kind of pleading with the world. Let me have everything. Uh, let me live the life that I will. Let me live to my destiny. Something like that. Agbon Laho. You see, remember, name has a way of uh, the name you give to your child has a way of influencing them either positively or negatively. Thank God, all the names I have here, they are all positive, good names. Okay, we are seeing A hey, now. We are in alphabet A S. It said Ase no gua. Ase no gua. Kia gua. Mature mind. It's a feminine name. Ase no gua. Ake gua. But the name is Ase no gua. But I'm just, I'm just like completing that. So I, I, I join it with a, I guess one. Ase no gua. It's like when you born a child. You, the child that you give birth to today. We don't start talking to, from today. There is stages in life. So as an your mind should be matured. Although 
you can have you can have a little child that has the, the mature mind of an adult you know that way this there's more than the name than is in the name as an it's, it's a feminine feminine name so whatever you whatever you are not supposed to open your mouth don't don't say it say whatever is right to you as an oh this is my turn to do this and you surely you will surely uh, do it by God's on your side. Asenogwa is a positive feminine name. Uh, the next one now is a muscular name. He said, Agmo Mare. Each one has his own life to live. Agmo Mare. You live your life, I live my life. That does not mean that you should not help your neighbor, you should not help your brother and your sister. But it's a name, it's a good name. Agbomare. By the time you start living the life of another person, you, you're leaving your own life behind. So what's going to happen to you at the end of the day? So Agbomare, don't be too focused on what does what does not concern you. Be focused on your on, on what God brought you to life to do. It's a good masculine name. This one is Aimwaimosa. You don't argue what God has decreed. The UNICEF's name. It's a very good name. I'm always say if God says you, you what God says will be, will be. If God says you come into this world to dominate, no pit of flesh will, will take that one away from you. That's that's what it says. I'm always say nobody stand in the way of God. Nobody battle with the Lord and go free. I'm always say it's a very 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 name with a deep meaning. I'm for example, God said, God sent his son to this world to die for you and I. He came. You see what happened. That, that purpose for his coming was actualized. So also is you, if you have this name. I'm one of the most Because why? God, he honors his word more than his name. And my most this is that man that says, say that one, baby. Anna Bioba. You can't say God, God said that child is coming to, to to life. You want to you want to truncate the life of that child. No, it's not possible. No, Sata or Tiny. No, no, Sagbe or Gwenny. What my papa said in fear with ye. That is what this name means. You can't argue what God has decreed. You can't. You can't. What God has decreed, you can't, you can't argue it. When it's rainy season, God said, This is rainy season. Rain will fall. You can't say because you are the one person, you only want to stop rain. When it's time for rain to fall, before when it's time for sun to shine, when it's time for winter snow, people that live in the region where there's snow, the snow will come. You cannot stop it. It's a Nusaluba tiny, wetty moi. You cannot change it because it has been ordained and decreed by God Almighty. If God says, This my child is coming, coming on earth to become a medical doctor, you can't, you can't stop that. Or this my child is coming to liberate. Nigeria from from the from the captivity they are now with the you know what is going on in Nigeria now. If God says this man, I'm gonna put him on that seat as the president of the country. It has been ordained. You cannot bribe or do whatever you want to do, whatever you need you want to do to remove that. No. Because why? God has already ordained that thing to happen. Remember in the Bible, Moses. See Moses, right from when Moses was born. People, enemy wanted to trun trun truncate Moses' life. See how the mother hid him for three months. See how when he was, he was not found by, the, by, 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 by King Pharaoh's daughter, by the riverside. And the mother was hired as the maid to take care of him. Why? Because Moses was born as a, for, a, for a purpose. And what happened? That purpose was actually was actualized. When the time came, Moses had to liberate the Israelites from the land of bondage. Thank you. So I'm more emosa. If you start there, not quite my setting more. I go satile. You can't bet or you don't bet with God. No. Like they will say pinky pinky swear. Pinky swear. No. Nobody does that with God. I go satile. You don't you don't bet with God. God was his final he has the final say. His word is ultimate. No, if you go to and say the doctor say you are this, you are that, 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 you are that. You are, you are that moment cancel that thing. Say no, you are not my God. You can't, you can't, you can't put, you can't put what is not my 
girls went to one kind of school. No. I go Satile. Oh, the Bible says, Psalm 105 said, Touch him and not tell my prophet no harm. You want to say, Oh, this pastor today preach and preach about me. I'm a big. We'll see what will happen. No. You are not God. God put him there. He's speaking the mind of God. Take the one that belongs to you and go. Instead of you going behind and, and, and you are. We we'll see what's happening. We we'll see what they do in the own video. God is ever there to fight for his children. When you are do, busy doing your, your, your stuff, the Holy, the Holy Ghost fire is going to answer for that innocent man or woman that you are planning to vote for. I go to Atile, ye, ye, don't do it. You don't bet with God. This is a very good name. I don't go to Atile third day. Whoever bet with God will fall down flat. It's a unisex name. Uh, the, the, now we are in AK. Akugbe. Akugbe means unity. It's a muscular name. Akukbe is unity. He said uni unity will stand, the unity will fall. So it's good, it's good to unite. Akukbe or a team. Unity is power. The name you can give to your mate, mate, mate children. So if this is your name, this is the, the meaning. So I hope we are all learning. If you have a friend that has us this name, so today you know the meaning of the name. Thank you. Now we have Agalela Dia. Ave Dia. Alila go or go or, or no go e one you go. So this name is a very good name, feminine name. Alila dear. When you follow the right path, when you follow the right path, you're gonna be right all through. But when you follow the bend, no go or, or go. Alila go or we go or something like that. If <laughs> you follow <laughs> the curve road or the bent road, you also be bent. So Alila dear means. When you follow the right path, you know that when you when you make friends with with the right friends, he so, said, so "Show me your friend, and I'll tell you who you are." So when you make friends with the right people, when you make friends with the good people, you will you will be right. You be good. when you make friends with God, you are, you will be good in all your ways. Aliladia, adia. When you follow the right path. That is what God wants for us. Want us to follow the right path. We should not follow the 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 bad path or the curve or the bent path. Follow the right path that leads to everlasting life. Thank you. The next one is Agbonisalo. Time spent alive is too short. Agbonisalo. That is true. Somebody you see today, tomorrow you see, that person you see no more. So the time we have now is that we are still talking, we are still breathing. We should use it wisely. Because Agbo, it's a low. Okay? This name, you can give it to you, our male children. Agbo is a low. It's a popular name. Time spent alive is too short. That's why we have to spend, use our time wisely. Use your time wisely. Because time, time yesterday that, that was passed, we never come back again. You never have that same date again. Is once and is past. I borrow. This one is a feminine name. Respect is golden and cannot be defeated. I borrow. Have respect. The Bible says the fish commandment says, Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long on earth. Your father, your elders. Give have respect to them. I borrow. You cannot you 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 cannot be defeated. I beg to be is to defeat. I borrow. Or it's golden. There's nothing can be compared to it. You know, when you give it back, it comes back to you. It's reciprocal. Okay? So, Agbawa is a female name, which is a very good name. You have to respect people. Respect your neighbors. Respect your elders. You go to school, respect your teachers. Go respect even your classmates, your co-workers. Show respect to them. Don't look down on people. Don't belittle people. Don't say, who is this one? It's not up to my class. If not abroad, if not this, if not because we're in the same church, if not this, you think you can stand up and talk to me. You can raise up your head, your head, your head and look at me. You can do this. I don't blame you. It's because we are in abroad, it's because we are in the same church, it's because we are this. In this place, they don't respect. Did you, are you respecting them? First? So, I borrow. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's like... A perfume that when you when you give it is is gonna it's gonna, it's gonna blow it's gonna take you it's gonna you know the scent will go everywhere. It's a very good feminine name. I go oh, oh, you, you cannot defeat it. Whatever is gonna help you. I I I, I understand of a story that uh, somebody said um, I think it was in the working place 
there was there was this worker that used to greet the I think the the doorkeeper I don't know every morning and every night when leaving. So just one day, this man was expecting this lady to I don't know I can't remember if it's a lady, this person to come to you know to walk back home at the end of the day to 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 tell him maybe good night because it's something that the, this doorkeeper now look forward to. So this particular day, he remember that when the person walk into the office or. Greeted him, good morning, sir. How was the day? How was the night? I was, you know, that's pleasant. And when he's leaving the night, he's gonna say, Okay, sir, I'm leaving for the night. Good night, sleep well. Regards to everybody. So, this doorkeeper was always looking forward to this man's greeting. Oh, oh. yeah, in Bini. But this particular day, everybody left to him, everybody has gone home. But this particular man didn't greet him, or this particular person, he didn't see him greet him, good night, have a pleasant, ple pleasant night. In regards to your family and this yeah, he was wondering what happened what happened this pe this person i didn't see him leave this office not knowing that i think he was working in the cold room i don't know then the door of the cold room shut against him he couldn't come out he the man was crying inside he knocking and everything nobody heard but because of this oh God, this greeting this pleasantry every night that he gives to this doorkeeper this doorkeeper have to go inside and start searching and because of that that this man or this person was the life was saved he couldn't die because if he has if 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 he has waited for the following morning, maybe this man would have been frozen up, but this person would have been frozen up and gone or dead. But this doorkeeper has to go back inside, was opening and looking and you know, opening the doors and saw that this man was inside the cold room, almost frozen to death. So that you see that say, oh God, can be that's an example of oh, can be difficult. If somebody that just come and just pass and you know. I'm just doing my own. I don't. I'm just here to work and make my money. I just he sneak in and sneak out. Nobody will know. Feel is absent that day, so it's good to give respect. Let wherever you are, let your voice be heard. If you are not, if you are not there that day, let people know that ah, this man or this woman is not here today. What happened? I go go. Okay, this one we have now is. Uh, it's a useless name. It's pronounced Aile Lunuagbon. The meaning is I don't mind the word of the people of the world. People can talk. People talk too much. So don't mind them. Let them talk. But you will be focused. You know what you are doing. You know where you are going. Aile Lunuagbon. Don't mind the word of the people of the, of the world. People will say, ah, for example, if, if, for example, if God is blessing somebody, a woman, she's she's having, you know, She's having children. Hey, how many? You want born the uh, football team? You want all of you know how to be born? You want every year you're going to get belly? Don't mind. God has given to you. If you are able to make to, to take off those children, go ahead. Because people, believe you me, people are weeping every night because they, they, want that, they want the children that you are having. They are not able to do it. The way God blesses uh, Mr. A, that's not the way God will bless Mr. B. So whatever God has blessed you with, just love it, cherish it. Don't listen to what the world is saying. Don't. Because I don't go and sin against God. Because people are saying, ah, every year she's pregnant. Don't go and sin against God. Because at the long run, you're going to enjoy those children. Trust me. People might say, ah, instead of her to go and, to go and start working and looking for money, she's in school. School, 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 school. At her old age, she's going to school. Don't listen. A little not go. Focus on what you want to do. That is your destiny. That is your life. Don't listen to what people are saying. This is your life. Okay? So, don't mind the word of the people of the world. Whatever they are saying, don't mind. You know what you, your aim. You know your what, what you are looking for, what you want. That is what matters. You matters, not what people are saying. Okay? You worry about what, what in a situation like what, what will God say? That's what you should concern your mind with. Not what people will say. So, whatever you want to do, do it. Provided you are not you are, you are not sin against man, you are not, you are, you are not sin against man, you don't sin against God. That is what matters. Not what people will say. Ah, now let you go now let you start to the go school. Uh now you they make nyaga. Look at what mm mm Hallelujah. Mind your business. Focus on yourself. Don't mind the word of the people of the world. That's in the meaning of that name. It's a very good name. You can give it to both male and both female children. So that's all I can compile for the names that start with A. I want to say thank you for watching. So I'm going to be coming out with uh, the, the second part. 
more names that start with A. Then uh, uh, I don't think we have any. I, I didn't see any name with B that has many. I don't see any name that that start with C. No. Then uh, I don't see anyone that start with uh, D. But I think we will be going to E. E has a lot of names. That's the one I'm going to be bringing to you next. I want to ask you to like and comment below. You hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's a lot of I it take time for me to compile it. It takes time for me to edit it and put it out there on the on the inter on the YouTube. So I want you to watch it, like it, and comment. I pray that God that has us through this two years of pandemic. It was really, 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 really a very trying time. We're going to see us and be our God and guide. Stay blessed. And um, I want to say happy Father's Day to all fathers, all.